So the simplest model that you could maybe think of for a golf swing would be a simple single pendulum. And that, that model would look like this. Well, we all know that's, that's going to be insufficient. So the next most complicated model is, is one that's been proposed since at least the mid-60s by Cochran and Stobbs and Jorgensen. That's of a double pendulum model. And in that model, you basically assume uh, two, two pendulums, one that swings around a fixed hub and the other that swings around the end of the first pendulum. And as Cochran and Stobbs pointed out, that does a, a remarkably good job of, of explaining a lot of the, the golf swing. So the, the model that I um, started driving represented the upper segment as a fixed triangle. It still drives the, the hinge point that represents the hands in a circular path around the, the uh, fixed center of rotation, which you know, it's kind of conceptually somewhere in the shoulders. Um, up until impact, it's pretty close to a circle. There's a little deviation afterwards and, and, and then further on. Um, but we're going to have to model this with the double pendulum as though it's a circle. So I've done a, a least squares fit of the hand data to it, the impact point and found that this is the effective center of, of the rotation. Now where is that? Center of rotation of the hand path? Of the hand path, right. Brian, can you uh, stand in as this golfer? Now you go into it and is perpendicular to uh, the, the swing plane. It would kind of pass, um, well, you know, through the, through the his upper back here someplace. So if he was going to, that's good, that's good. If you're going to swing along around that, that center of, act, of rotation, you would kind of imagine that, that uh, your upper back is where the, 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 the axis goes through. And you'd be trying to rotate your arms around that axis. Okay. If you if you want to visualize a, a, a swing plane really well, a good way of doing it is to get into your simulated impact position and then raise yourself to a vertical position. That brings the swing plane to a horizontal plane. And so at the top of his backswing, his club is is well above his downswing plane. He quickly brings it down to that to that plane, and it travels on that plane thereafter. Okay. Now, now the low point of his hands in the swing is when they are right below the the center of rotation, or about here. So his hands are above the. I'll, I'll take it again to the to the horizontal plane. Tabletop. Tabletop. His hands are above the, the tabletop until they reach about here. So the, the club actually, in his swing, he drops the club onto the tabletop here, but the hands don't reach the tabletop until here. Okay. What this model says is that if you can do it, the optimal way to swing a golf club is to, is to turn your hands as fast as you possibly can around uh, the, your chosen uh, swing axis and to rotate the club as fast as you can around the, around the hands, starting from a, a particular uh, uh, spot.